Hello everyone, I am Jatwa. Welcome back to Life of Robert's Wife. I wanted to get on here today to inform you of something that I found very disturbing um, while I was scrolling the internet. So usually um, I like to just see what's going on in the news and I saw this article and when I saw it, like my heart immediately, like it fell. Like I was like, what? Um, and it was, I think my reaction was like that because the first thought that came to my mind after what was, why am I not seeing this in the news? Why is this not plastered on billboards or, you know, constantly um, on the nightly news, on the local news? Um, why, why are we not seeing this over and over again like they did with COVID or like they did with um, other things like Taylor Swift and Travis? Like that kind of stuff we don't care about, right? So why is this not on the news. So what am I talking about? Let's go here. So I'm going to put the link um, in the description box. And the link says more than 1,000 kids reported missing in Ohio this year in extraordinary, extraordinary surge. Y'all, 1,000 kids just this year alone. And we have not seen them plastering it everywhere on the news and on social media like why are, are you not telling us what's going on where people can be on the lookout for these children um and so let's just look at the article so it says children are disappearing from northern ohio in record numbers with more than 1,000 minors reported missing so far this year more than 45 children have gone missing in the cleveland akron ohio area this month alone so this article was published on um, September 26, 2023. So that was almost a month ago. So almost a month ago, there were 45 children missing. And in August, there were more than 35 missing minors, according to the Ohio Attorney General's Missing Children website. The disappearances are creating a disturbing trend in Northern Ohio, which began in May, when nearly 30 children went missing in just the first two weeks. So they said 1,000 missing this year alone, uh, 45 in August, uh, 45 in September, um, 35 in August. But they said it started in May with 30 children in two weeks. So why is this not being plastered all over the internet? Why are we not being shown this? And I want to let you know, like parents, we have to be very conscious about where we are, our surroundings, and who is around us. We can't look at someone with a nice face and clean shaven or um, in a long skirt or um, they just look like, you know, a nice person and then turn our back to them. Do you understand? We can't take for granted anybody that that's around us because we just don't know um it's like satan is really after the children and i believe that's the case because we as parents we who are um, training our children up in the lord where well, they're going to be their next generation is going to continue to train their children up in the lord they're going to train their children up in the lord right because we got to continue to keep the gospel going we have to um get them rooted and established in the faith so that they can continue to live a life that will give God the glory. So again, when the officials, um, they looked at this, they called it an extraordinary surge in disappearances. And so my charge to you, the listeners, be on the lookout. When you know God has given you this feeling in your gut that you just cannot take away, that something was off with this child and this adult, you say something. I'm not talking about people who are being Karens. Um, and I, I know people use that term for people who, you know, they'll see someone, maybe an adoptive family, and then they'll call the police or they're just, you know, picking with someone. Um, we're not talking about somebody who is doing something out of malicious intent. We're not saying tell because, oh, this is just a couple that's one race having a child with this race. Um, so it must be something going on. 
No, look at how the child is behaving. You as a mother, you know how a child, how their mannerisms are with you when they're comfortable and they're happy. What is going on with this child where they're nervous and they're looking around? And so we have to get on our knees and pray, saints. We need to pray that when there is an opening for this child to escape, that they see that opening and that they trust God to give them the strength to run away, to get away. That if their attackers or their kidnappers have fallen asleep, that the Lord just give them a supernatural deep sleep so that the child can, even if they make noise, that it won't awaken the person that's holding them hostage. If it's something that's evil, because we know this time of month in October, um, my family, we do not celebrate Halloween. We do not partake in Halloween. We do not give out candy. We don't give out pamphlets. We turn our lights off to let them know this house, you can pass over. But we get on our knees and we plead the blood of Jesus for those children who are being kidnapped and those who are in occult, wicked occult behavior, that if they're trying to sacrifice a child, that God would make the earth shake and their child will get away. I have seen um, testimonies of where people have came out of witchcraft and they have said that they have literally felt the earth, earth shake because there were um, saints of God who were praying. And it's like God came and just did something um, in the midst. We're praying that that the witches get saved. We pray that these warlocks get saved. We pray that um, they have a supernatural experience with God, but we're praying that God moves in a situation that if a child is being kidnapped for sacrificial purposes, that that child can get away. We pray, oh God, that, that somebody would see and the child would give a hand signal to say, help me, and the person would pay attention and get help for the child. We pray that normally when you walk the dog, you didn't notice that maybe this piece of cloth was hanging out the window and it, 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 it's hanging out the window and so you, you call the police or you see somebody screaming or you hear banging it and you normally don't hear it and you call the police. What I'm saying is don't ignore anything, especially when it comes to children. There are so many... Um, things that we don't know behind the scenes that's coming with this sex trafficking and this kidnapping and this um, child sacrifice. We just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And I believe that if God ever let us see it, that we would never mentally be the same. And so even when these children, and I'm praying that each of these children are brought back alive, but we pray that when they are brought back alive, that God... Um, heals them whole, holy, spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, that they can be somewhat normal despite what they have experienced with these kidnappers. And as you scroll on in the article, you will see pictures of um, the young, some of the young children that are missing. And they did say that some cases may be runaway cases, but it doesn't matter. Parents, we are to be stewards over our children. God gave us the responsibility the Bible says the children are a blessing and an inheritance from the Lord. These children, 17, 17, 16, 14, 17, 16, 17, 14. And there's just a few of them that they have pictured here. No parent wants to go to bed at night and wake up every morning not knowing where their child is. We as parents, we want to lay our hands on our child. and We want to make sure that, hey, if I call, if I text, I get a reply. But not knowing that's the worst type of torture. Because you don't know if they are someone screaming for help and they're crying, Mama, please come help me. Or they're laying cold somewhere where you may never find their body. Because even when you have a funeral, you have closure. But when they're missing, you just don't know and your mind can just go anywhere. So saints, let's do our job and let's bring these children home through prayer. That these families can get the closure that they need. And that these children, that they can escape to whoever is taking them. And that God will heal them wholly when they come back home. Okay. Um, I'm out. That's all that I have today. Just keep your eyes open. Not just in Ohio, but whatever state, whatever country you're in. Keep your eyes open. It's time out for this. None of my business. I don't want 
to have nothing to do with that. This can cost me this and this and this. These are children. These children are the apples of God's eye. He even told us that if we come, when we come, we have to come like as little children, right? When we come to him. Because children, you know, they believe everything. They, they, they're they hungry to know more because they'll keep saying, why, why, why? So if someone harms the children, how do you think God feels about that? It's so much sin on this earth. It is so much sin and debauchery and evil. Oh my goodness. But let's, let's pray that God open the eyes of people around us and our eyes that we can see what we need. If we can help that we can do it. And that if we notice anything that we say something. And more importantly that God brings these children home. All right. I have a great one.